This is XR Motion. My name is Michael Steinberg. Today, we are going to be mixing Mid Journey with Dolly 2 by taking Mid Journey pictures and then modifying them with one of Dolly 2's amazing features, which is the edit tool. Why? Well, because I personally think Mid Journey generates much better images than Dolly 2, at least in a creative sense. Um, and we can use those together to just take it to the next level. Uh, these results are amazing. And uh, yeah, this is 100% going to be added into my inspiration workflow. So I hope you guys are excited. Let's check this out. All right, so here we have some images I uh, created in Mid Journey. This one's my favorite. We bring this into Photoshop. We scale it down so there's a room to modify around it in Dolly 2. So we're gonna go into Dolly 2 and click edit. And then from there, we're gonna mask around the entire image. This is just allowing us to create a prompt on what we want Dolly to fill in. So we're doing an alien body with gold chains. Now, <laughs> these are the images it created. They're pretty hilarious and amazing. So for this first one, this is epic. I also added on a crown earlier, should have mentioned that. And this one, super cool. Even love the background. This one had me cracking up, uh, but pretty amazing. And <laughs> we got, and then we, it's like a biggie B smalls, I guess. I love that. <laughs> um, and this one's super cool. Like that actually fits beautifully. Um, so anyway, I tried another image. I love doing these kind of like alien new creatures that I love making um, these kinds of images with mid journey. Um, so we're doing it again. So we cropped it in. We literally just covered exactly the same exact space that we did with the last image prompt um, with the B, doing the same thing. Now this one we did with the mantis body. Now look at that. It just fills it in beautifully. That one it is well so wild. And this one's maybe a little too literal. That's kind of, you can even see the thumb at the bottom. So yeah, we did a humanoid alien body prompt. We did this again, except with humanoid body with the same image on the left. Look at that. I love this one. <laughs> that is just why this one's my favorite. Like I honestly might even print that out and hang it on a wall. Uh, I also wanted to show one more thing you can do. So we have this mantis, right? We're clicking variations. So this actually sometimes modifies them even more. They don't have upscaling, um, but they do have this feature where it goes even further with Dolly, which here you can see. So we have the two images on the left, making an exact prime mantis, um, praying mantis, just like the image on the left. But look at it, it's like a realistic version of a mantis based on our, you know, mid journey. Huh? Now, how cool is that if you ever had to use that with a client of making some kind of example look more like an actual real version of that. Um, that's one way I see, uh, you know, another thing. Here's some other things I did. Um, you know, I took the mid journey prompt on the left. I put a UFO on the top left and you can see on the right, also put in an alien, just instant, you know, just quickly created that. Uh, another just powerful way of mixing the two softwares or artificial intelligence together. So yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys found that interesting and maybe learn some cool ways of how you don't have to use just Mid Journey or Dolly, but you can actually mix them together and get some cool results. Yeah, make sure to subscribe if you want. It gives me a lot more motivation to keep making these fun little videos for you. We also go over everything AR, VR, XR, 3D. We also have a Discord, you know, links in the bio. Yeah. All right, I'm out, I'm out, Peace.